Hello everyone. So today I'm back with an interesting recipe. More How interesting would this to look like. Isn't this beautiful? Braided envelopes of paneer, stuffed paneer. Okay. So let's get started with this. I have taken two cups of maida to make the dough. Half a teaspoon of salt. Just mix it with a pinch of kalonji, that is kala zira, and then mix well rub it with your palm and then make a well in the center and add one third cup of vegetable oil refined oil but yes not at a time just add a little and mix it gradually mix till the mixture is little crumbly and it starts to bind so just with your palm if it holds the shape then it's fine you can add some water to knead uh, after kneading keep it aside and keep it for rest for some time or till the time you prepare the filling so the filling it's up to your wish what filling you want i am using paneer filling today so for the paneer filling i have heated a pan a karhai a teaspoon of vegetable oil some diced onions it's around half a cup some green chilies it's optional and half a cup of carrot grated carrots and a cup of uh, grated paneer so i'll be adding some seasoning to it like salt black pepper if you want you can you may add zira powder that is cumin powder and uh, and some red chili powder i am not using the hot one i am using the kashmir red chili powder here so saute it till the mixture dries up add some freshly cut coriander and switch off the flame and keep it aside and let it cool completely and after that we will use it as a filling so now let's make the braided envelopes so for this take small portions of the dough and then roll it thin and before rolling it make a thick paste of maida and water so i am rolling the dough thin and then cut few strips just notice how i do it in this video i'll just cut nine slits if not nine then 11 now why is it so because we will alternate the slits you may see in the video i am alternating the slits and seal the edges just alter the slits it's very easy uh, the first one you may find it difficult but once you do start doing it's quite interesting also and looks very fancy anything which is served beautifully tastes more beautiful isn't it so yes you it's always a good it's always we say now we eat with our eyes first then it from with our mouth so yes uh, so feel the feeling a bit and then roll it with your very light hands gently roll and then seal the edges where the filling is filling has ended so seal the edges with your finger tap it a little and then use this uh, thick paste thick paste of water and maida i took one teaspoon of maida and half a teaspoon of uh, water to make this paste and then i'll just slowly roll down and seal the edges again with a fork so this is how it looks isn't this beautiful yes it's very easy and it's more or less a modern samosa which went for a makeover yes you write it you, you heard it right it's modern samosa with a bread so seal the sides properly with a fork you may even fold this but uh, with a fork it looks much more better so it's look like a fish tail isn't it so I am again showing it for the second time. Notice it carefully and do give it a try. So if you are new to my channel guys, I request you to kindly share, like and subscribe to my channel. I am Darshna, a home baker and a teacher by profession and I love sharing videos, cooking videos which a beginner can also give a try. So I have many more snacks video. I'll be sharing the recipe in the description box below and the full recipe and the quantity of the recipe 
I'll be sharing in, in the description box. Do check that out. And yes, after you have done this, uh, do remember to keep it for um, to fry this in low flame until they turn crispy in a deep bottom karhai or a pan and then fry it in the in a in low flame so this can be served with uh, your favorite ketchup tomato sauce or your favorite chutney i prefer this with i have um, a few days back i have made hot and sweet tomato ketchup so i serve this with that tomato ketchup so if you have green chutney you you may serve your guest with the chutney too it will test either way it will test good only so guys this is it do give it a try and let me know how it goes so next time i'll be sharing a milk bread recipe so stay tuned for that and i hope you will love this one do share your experience i'll be really happy if you do like share and subscribe thank you for watching and do give it a try guys bye bye